Hello and welcome to this seventh demonstration in the series I'm doing on Windows 10 in the enterprise. So in the very last demonstration, I showed how to configure uh, roaming profiles and redirected folders. And I also tested that on two machines, Long Client 1 and Long Client 2. So I signed into Long Client 1 as a user called Adam that has his profile redirected to a file server location and also as a group policy object or group policy setting that applies to him that redirected his document to a location on the file server. So in this particular demonstration, we'll take it a step further. So I'll call these advanced roaming profiles or advanced uh, folder redirection. How do we configure that? So here's the scenario. Um, Adam's profile or experience and or settings and documents follow him around no matter the machine he logs into now typically you block um, adam's account from being able to log into like a server like this or stuff like that but let's say you also don't want that to happen um for all situations you want to lock that down so that if adam logs so this is the pc that is, has been assigned to adam long client one if adam logs into long client two his document and his profile will not follow him so you want to set that up that's what we're going to be talking about i'm going to be demoing that using long client 4. so to do that there are two settings um, which are group policy settings that we will we'll need to configure so let's go back to our domain controller and and configure those so um domain controller let's right click the default domain before we do that let's go to active directory yes and computers and configure something called primary computers so here i am under the computers container uh long client one if i right click on that and i click on properties of long client one and um, before i do that i have to go view here and go advanced features first of all and then select that then don't client one the properties then once i have the advanced features enabled then i can see this attribute editor here and if i scroll down to distinguished name i can see the distinguished name of this computer here so i'll copy that so you can see long client one is in this container long client two is in this container so then if i go to um on the marketing which is where adam's account is and i select adam and i go on the properties of adam and on the attribute editor the attribute i'm looking for is msds primary computer so let's scroll down till we get there so we have primary computer here and if i double click on that so this is where i can set sort of like the primary computer for adam so i can paste the distinguished name in and add that and I actually just paste it in again and change that to long client 2 and i'm going to add that so now we have two primary computers configured for adam which is long client 1 and long client 2 i click ok to that i apply that and that's the first phase of that so the next thing that i'll need to do is configure two policies one policy that will say um only with only um use roaming profile for this user if that's their primary computer the other one will say only redirect uh, these folders on this computer if this is the user's primary computer which is the thing that how we will be configuring now um, so to do that i'll need to go on the first of all on the computer so i'll do that under the default domain policy and i'll go on the policies window settings yeah. or maybe not window settings not under window settings sorry it's policies administrative templates system and user profile so policies administrative templates system and user profiles user profiles here we go user profiles here and the one that we're looking for is if i sort that um do, do, do. this one download roaming profiles on primary computers only so that's the one that um 
will be configuring. So what I'm saying is that a hey, um, the policy setting controls on a per computer basis whether roaming profiles are downloaded on the user's primary computer only. So I'll enable this policy. Now click enabled and I'll click apply to that. Uh oh, the screen is behaving in a weird way. <laughs> yeah, then the next one I want to do is on the user configuration. So that's the one for the roaming profiles. That's on the computer configuration. So on the user configuration, on the policies, on the administrative template also, on the system, on the folder redirection, and this one. Redirect folders on primary computers only. Again, I'll double click on that and I'll click enable to that. And I'll say OK, and that's done. So now, Remy profiles will only apply if it's the user's primary computer. Um, redirected folders will only apply if it's the user's primary computer. So Adam has two primary computers, LUN client one and LUN client two. In this case, let's introduce LUN client four which is in on the list of Adam's primary computers. So long client 4 is a machine that's not yet joined to the domain. So I, I'll join into the domain now and then we'll proceed to log in as Adam and see if Adam. So you remember when we log into long client 2 in the um, prior video, Adam's uh, profile and document were all waiting for him there. So let's see if we experience the same thing with long client 4. So go to long client 4 here. Let's log in and join into the domain. So I'll just click the search button here and search for domain. I'll click join a domain. I'll change there. I want to join com. Click OK to there. Enter the username and password. Okay. Do you want to save any document? No, I don't want to save any document. So this is Lund client 4 again. I've been joined to the domain. And I'll restart the computer. So I'll pause the recording now and I'll come back once this machine is back up. Okay, so long client 4 is back on now. And then what we need to do is we need to log in as Adam and Adam's password. And then let's see what happens. So again, this may take a while because it's the first time Adam is logging into this. Should be quicker because we disabled the fancy animation for force time login so that'll make it much quicker let's wait in anticipation i'll pause the video and come back once it's done yeah fully logged in now and the very first thing you notice is there are no extra icons on the desktop and this indeed learn client for so we're logged into the domain now, but there's no roaming profile applied. And also, if we go here and go on the yep, Explorer and go on the document, doesn't seem nothing seems to have been redirected. Okay, we may say, oh, is that due to group policy not being applied? So let's go ahead and just force a group policy update, log out and log back in, and still see what happens. So let's go GP update slash force and then let's log out let's log back in let's see what happens applied it's a policy yep we want to log off yeah we want to log off and then we'll sign right back in as adam So if we go sign back in as Adam and we'll see if there's any desktop customizations or if there are any redirected documents. 
So again, if I go to long client two, you can see all this here. Actually, I'll just sign out of long client two. And I'm already out of long client one, long client two. So long client four, yeah, we're back in and still no desktop customizations. And what about document, any redirected document? None, none, still local document. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our domain controller. And in this case, we we'll go back to Active Directory users and computers. So under Adam's um, attributes, we'll modify the primary computer, which is MSDS primary computer. Scroll down to we'll find that. Yeah, this one, MSDS primary computer. And let's modify long client to, instead of long client to, let's say long client four is now one of Adam's primary computers. And let's click OK to that. Apply and OK. OK, now we made the change. Let's go back to long client four. Let's right click, uh, let's go back to command prompt. And let's do a group policy update. GP update slash force. Let's see what happens. Beta policy updated. Yeah, do you want to log out? Yes, we want to log out indeed. And then we log back in and let's see what the result is. So after making long client for Adam's one of Adam's power computers also. So and here we go. Instantly we can see all the customizations that we made earlier. The shortcut for the to the C drive, the presentations um, folder. And then if we go on the document and let's see anything redirected yes here we go redirected so that's the way the way we can use primary computers alongside with redirected folders and uh, roaming profiles so that's fun and that's interesting so in the very next demonstration stick around for this you really love all this whole series we'll talk about some really interesting stuff windows in tune is coming up azure AD is coming up workplace join is coming up um, in the very next one, we'll be talking, we'll take women profiles to another level where we talk about something called the user experience virtualization. You may be wondering what in the world is that? If that's what you're wondering, you need to watch the next video. See you. Bye.